All right, today we're gonna break down something pretty cool. How artificial intelligence actually analyzes and predicts a full 90 minutes of Premier League football. We're gonna see what happens when cold, hard data goes up against the beautiful game. And this really gets to the heart of it, right? I mean, can a machine, just an algorithm, really foresee the outcome of something so dynamic, so passionate, and frankly, so unpredictable as a top flight football match? So to try and answer that, here's how we're gonna tackle it. We'll start with the matchup itself, you know, a tale of a tape. Then we'll dive deep inside the AI's brain, see how it crunches the numbers, and finally, get to its verdict. And stick around, because there's a really important warning at the end. Okay, so let's get right into it. This week, we're focusing on a classic Premier League clash, and it's all happening at the legendary Villa Park. So here's the setup. We've got Aston Villa at home, taking on AFC Bournemouth. And what's interesting is that the data even factors in the conditions on the day. Mostly cloudy, bitter rain expected. And you know that can absolutely change how a game is played. All right, before we let the AI do its thing, let's look at things a bit more traditionally. You know, size up the two clubs. This will give us a good baseline before we get into the heavy duty predictions. So using the LO rating system, which is basically just a way to measure the skill levels of two opponents, you can see Aston Villa has a slight statistical edge here. Now, it's not a massive gap, but it's definitely there, a clear sign of where they sit in the league hierarchy right now. But here's the thing. The model doesn't just stop at old ratings. It looks at what's happening right now. A team's only as good as the players on the pitch, right? And we see some major injuries for both sides. Key guys like Yuri Tillemans for Villa and Tyler Adams for Bournemouth are out. That stuff matters. Okay, so now for the really fascinating part. Let's see how the AI actually builds its prediction. It's time to pull back the curtain and look inside the black box. And this is the key. It's not just one AI making a guess. This unified ensemble model is, think of it like a committee of different specialized experts. Each one analyzes the game from a different angle, and then they all kind of vote on the outcome. And some votes, well, they just count for more than others. And here are the members of that committee. You've got things like Random Forest, which uses a bunch of simple decision trees to vote. Then you have the heavy hitters, XG Boost and Light GBM. These are industry standards for this kind of thing. And then there's the artificial neural network, which tries to spot patterns a bit like a human brain. You can see for this specific match, the last three, LGB, XGB, and the neural network, they get a slightly bigger say in the final call. So with this expert committee all set up, the system doesn't just predict the game once. Oh no. To really understand all the possibilities, it runs thousands, and I mean thousands, of digital simulations of the match. Yeah, when we say thousands, we're not kidding. The system plays this Aston Villa versus Bournemouth game 10,000 separate times. It's what's called a Monte Carlo simulation. And doing this lets it move way beyond just a single guess and generate some really powerful data-driven probabilities. And check this out. This shows one of the key results, expected goals, or XG. This isn't just about how many shots a team takes, it's about the quality of those chances. The AI predicts that Villa will create chances worth about 3.25 goals, which is more than double Bournemouth's 1.39. I mean, that is a massive difference in predicted firepower. So, after all that, after weighing all the factors, talking to its committee, and running 10,000 simulations, what's the final verdict? What does the AI think is going to happen in this Premier League showdown? And here it is. The model gives the home side, Aston Villa, a pretty clear advantage. A nearly 47% chance of winning. Now a draw is also very much on the table, at over 36%, while an upset win for Bournemouth, well, that's seen as the least likely result, coming in under 17%. But the AI can get even more granular than that. If you look at the exact score lines, a 3-1 victory for Aston Villa pops up as the single most probable result, with about a 7.7% chance. And you can see other high-scoring Villa wins, like 2-1 and 4-1, are also right up there. And remember that high expected goals number we saw? Well, based on that, the AI makes two more big calls. First, it's pretty confident, a nearly 2-3 chance that we'll see over 2.5 total goals in the match. And second, it thinks it's more likely than not that both teams will score. Basically, all signs are pointing to a really entertaining, action-packed game. Okay, so we've seen this incredibly detailed forecast, but, and this is really important, we have to put all of this predictive data into the right context. This is the reality check. And the most important thing to take away from the people who actually built this model is this. 
This is for information. It's for entertainment. It's a super sophisticated analysis of what's probable, but it is not a crystal ball. These are not guarantees, and this should never, ever be treated as financial or betting advice. And that kind of leaves us with this final thought to chew on, doesn't it? As these prediction models get better and better, giving us these incredible insights, we have to ask ourselves, where does the data analysis end, and where does the pure, beautiful, and sometimes just plain magical unpredictability of the game begin?